Jim, our next question via the Cult of Cornette Facebook group was sent in by Ian Cook. I always wonder what? How do you spell that name? I A I N. Isn't that isn't that Ian? Would that be Ian? Well, I don't know. There's Ian's I A N. Ian's I A N, not well, I A I N. It's one of these people who just puts extra letters in their name to be bags or well no don't say that this is a listener of the show and i'm sure his parents named him he didn't just pick a name out of a hat well he could have picked a f- name out of a people do that you know not, most people do not just pick a random name after they've had a name i as a matter of fact i knew a girl named virginia one time but everybody called her virgin for short but not for long well here's this question from ian or ian from glasgow scotland let us know how to pronounce this I always wondered why the British Bulldog never got a WWE title run. Did Vince not think he was good enough, or was it something else? Oh, God. Did we talk about this at one point, maybe years back? I don't know. But basically, it wasn't necessarily that Vince loved Davey. He thought he was a great talent. He featured him more often than not when he was there, and the times that he was gone were either over the, you know, the family drama, the screw job, or, you know, some of Davey's personal out of the ring picadillos. Um, but at the same time, the, the talent level and the way that it was figured pretty much for Davey's whole run there, it just didn't come up. It's like several guys could have been the champion, but it didn't come up. And when, when Davey was one of the Bulldogs, that was the Hogan era, and Davey was a tag team guy. And then, you know, he breaks out and has the great singles match and run in Wembley with Brett and, you know, that run and the whole thing, but that was... That ended right away because of the controversy with the growth hormone shipments. Yeah, that was kind of cut short by, as I mentioned, some out-of-the-ring things. And then the Hogan era was over with, but by the time Davey gets back, then, then it's the Michaels and Brett. And I love Davey to death, but does anybody think that he should have been, instead of Shawn Michaels or Bret Hart at that point, that he should have been WWE champion? Probably wouldn't have worked out as successfully as it did with the other guys. And then the screw job happens, he's gone, and then he's hurt, and then the window had closed. So it just, it, the timing, it never worked out that he would be in the spot at the time that made sense, even though Vince had all the, you know, love in the world for his work. And and also, Davey was not the strongest promo, especially as a baby face, where it's harder to be nice than it is to be an asshole. And the other guys were, you know, ahead of him on that. And then there was just the element of sometimes if Davey wasn't motivated, you know, when he was in there with Owen, it was four stars. When he was in there with fucking Henry you know, Godwin, Henry Godwin, it was I wasn't even there. So it you just hear that? Yeah. What? You don't hear the thunder? You don't hear the thunder and the lightning. Oh, the way you love me is frightening. <laughs> 